Hey guys, and welcome to my newest video, or my next tutorial video. This one, as promised, is going to be 8-bit movement. So as you can see, 8-directional movement. You can spin around and he actually, you know, go on this way and that way. So on the diagonal it doesn't look funny. Now, first thing I'll show you is I've edited the sprite to include all of those. Now, um, I'll show you the way I did it. I'll just make a copy of this one here. Paste that there. Open it up. And there's one called Rotate. Now, what this one will do is you can go 45, uh, 90, yeah, you can go clockwise, you know, 59 if you want to. Any way you want, pretty much. And I just did that every 45 degree angle. So we'll delete that one there. And as you can see, the way I've set them up, it's sort of like um, a clockwise clock phase. Just goes around, and you can move images left and right like this, edit the image, all that stuff there. Okay. So now we'll come to the player and I'll show you the code. I actually um, ran into a bit of trouble when I was doing this video the first time, so I had to stop it and start again, but here's the code for it. Now I don't know if anyone else knows the um, easier version of doing that, but here's my way of doing it. So you've got the same if keyboard checks, left, right, and up, but you've also got if statements within if statements. So if the player is pressing the left key, check if he's pressing the up key. If he's pressing the up key, that's what the image index is going to be. Else, if he's pressing the down key, that's what the image index is going to be. And if he's not pressing either of those keys, that's what the image index is going to be. And then you pretty much copy that down, and you do it the same here. But you change the image index. I actually did that before, did it wrong, and it was just looking kind of funny. So you just go through. So that's the up and downs, and then it's your left and your right. I just want to make this all nice and neat, so everything's in order bit pedantic about it, but so what? Okay. So as you can see, in here we now have else statements. Okay. If this is happening, do this, else this. Yeah, it's, it's a basic sentence. Okay. Oh, can you do this? Or if someone else is doing that, do this. Hey, let me just um, I'll just open up a script here. Don't worry about these. We'll be going on doing them later. Um, here's here's a basic if statement, right? If Bob equals um, if Bob equals here, if Bob equals here, so we open up the parentheses, open up the question. So we'll do this as sort of an attendance role for a school or something. So you know, Bob being the student, if Bob equals here, then attendance plus equals 1. So if he's here, attendance equals 1 for his year or whatever. Okay. If he's not here, so else, if he, if Bob doesn't equal here, um, attendance, oh, yeah, uh, atten yeah, we'll go attendance minus equals 1. So it takes a day away. Or you could, you know, do um, days away plus equals one. And you can put 
if statements and else statements in there all the time. Um, you, know, you can just pile them and pile them. You could have this one here, you know, if Henry or um, um, if so he's not there so we'll go if note prov if sick equals uh, if Bob equals sick um, we can go da 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 that, that else um, sick day equals oh, plus equals one hey, and if you look at it here we go that one's there so that's still part of that same if sentence that's still part of that one but this one isn't this one's in another if statement within that one And it just they pile and pile and pile, and I've forgotten to put one another there. Okay. So this one's still in that one as well. So first, it's asking if it's he, if he's here. If he's here, his attendance goes up. Else, if he's sick, his sick days go up. If he's not here and he's not sick, he's away. So you've got you know layers upon layers upon layers of if statements that you can run and all it requires is if else um, so if or you could go here so if Bob equals here or Bob equals he's on holiday his attendance goes up yeah, or, or we're going with the school analogy here exercise um, no X Ah, we'll just call it holiday. Bugger. Um, holiday. Alright. So that's your ifs, your else's, and your ors. If he's here, or if he's on holiday, his attendance goes up. Else, if he's sick, his sick days goes up. Else, if ne if any of those three aren't true, his days are away. No, he's wagging, probably. Um, if, yeah. That's just basic if statements. And you'll use those. They're your bread and butter of most of your games. You know, you'll be checking player health. You'll be checking if this is there. If instant, you know, all of this stuff. Um, I'll actually show you my project that I'm working on, Prometheus. Yes, awesome name, I know. And we'll open up the Prometheus project, and I'll show you. Um, this one here, right? Um, in the step event. Now this is just a basic gravity um, if statement here. So what it does is it checks if he's in the air and then he sets that, else he's not in the air so gravity does that. Um, this one here. Now, all of these different things. So if he's not moving, do this. This one here checks you know, if he's um, if he's moving to the left or oh, to the right, do this. If he's moving to the left, if his health you know, is smaller than or equal to zero, kill him. It's just they go on and on. They're the bread and butter of absolutely everything. Like take this one for example. You know, um, it's checking if the player is pressing A key, or if he's pressing the left key, and he's got a um, space in front of him. So if he's pressing this one or this one, and he's pressing that one, so if he's pressing the left key, and there's a place free, or if he's pressing the A key, and there's a place free, do this. Um, no key, there's just, I don't think there's a single thing in there that isn't an if statement. Your step events involve if statements. You know, this create event has a few different things, but... It's just, they're your bread and butter. If you don't know about them, ask someone. If you can't ask someone, YouTube it. You know, Wazidi. This, the, Wazidi was the guy that got me started off. Him and Real Toot, uh, Real Toot GML. Both of these guys have YouTube channels. Watch them. Go through their tutorials. Go through my tutorials. You know, if I haven't covered something, send me a message. I mean, if statements, 
else statements or if else or if you don't know about them ask about them now you guys that's the end of this one I'll um I know I rambled on a bit near the end of it but it's just these are the things you need to know